Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something that is insanely exciting, maybe one of the most exciting things that I've ever had here on my channel, as we've got the brand new 93 Classic Electronic Real Feel Tyrannosaurus Rex from Mattel for their Jurassic Park line, and it looks awesome. I want to give an absolutely massive shout out to my good friend Marco Makes and Sora, who were kind enough to help me acquire this a bit earlier than I would have if I were waiting for Target, you know, I'd probably be waiting my life away so luckily I have awesome friends like Marco and Sora who do live in the United Kingdom and obviously these are released there earlier than we are getting them here in the United States so they were kind enough to offer up the opportunity to acquire one for me and then send it my way and we have it here and on top of that they actually sent some insanely insanely cool stuff in the box with this that I was completely not expecting and I honestly had one of the absolute most epic unboxing moments a few moments ago before I pulled this out and I didn't film it because I had no idea the stuff was in there I thought it was only the Rex and that's a little disappointing because it probably would have had some of my best reactions ever but uh, I was absolutely blown away by the other stuff that was included so reviews of that stuff will be up here on the channel very soon so again I want to give a huge huge shout out and thank you to Marco and Sora for being absolutely awesome as they always are but man this rex looks so cool it definitely has that very strong kenner vibe exactly what they were going for definitely looks like a really healthy dose of mattel and kenner if they just kind of created a baby together this is exactly what i would expect it to look like when it comes to their jurassic lines and the packaging is amazing i could tell you one thing i throw away my mattel packaging almost all the time I will not be throwing away any of these 93 Classic boxes. There's just no chance. The boxes just look way too good to have tossed in the garbage. And you can see basically what we have is, of course, our beautiful Rex right here. You can also see the 93 Classic logo up there over the top of the head. You can see a little sneak peek of the Rex up above it. And you can also see again down here, real feel, electronic. I said that backwards. Tyrannosaurus Rex. You've got the Jurassic Park logo. And then amazing looking artwork there in the backdrop with the Jurassic Park gates and the sunset and everything that is just phenomenal super super vintage super nostalgic right here as far as that packaging goes and this is the first time I'm actually touching the Rex to get the real feel uh, overall feel of it and of course the head's not really a rubbery feel kind of like the uh, Kenner Rex did sort of have a bit of a rubbery feel to the head the Mattel version does not nor do the arms, oh no, the arms actually do. I was going to say, nor do the arms, the legs don't. The legs are definitely a hard plastic, which part of the legs of the Kenner one were as well, but the arms are flexible. The head and the legs are the only two really solid places, it seems, and then the uh, rest of the body definitely has that gorgeous, real feel style to it, but this Rex has honestly already exceeded my expectations. Let's turn it around and take a look at the back of the packaging here which you can now see has a really cool image of the T-Rex. We can definitely see that is not actually the Rex in a kind of a toy-like setting like you would have seen on the Kenner boxes. That's definitely a superimposed image or something that they've edited. But you can see some more images of the Tyrannosaurus over here. You can see it also eating a mini right there. And then down here we have these images, and if you are familiar with the old Kenner Jurassic Park line, that's exactly how the other figures were presented on the back of those boxes, where it was just like this kind of blank backdrop here pretty much, and then you had the figures, and uh, that again is a throwback, a callback to the Kenner Jurassic Park line, the old school Jurassic Park line that we all know and love. And then of course we have info and everything over here as well as the Jurassic Park logo yet again, and the JP30 logo down there, which I love. So this set is incredible, like already I am so in love with this, I honestly can't even put into words how much I love this. Let's go ahead, pop it out of the box and check it out. So Mattel is absolutely killing it with this because first of all we've removed the Tyrannosaur, you can see what the rest of the box art and everything looks like, but here on the bottom, because they know that we're going to want to collect the packaging, we don't want to destroy it. The figure is actually held in with these little guys that go into the foot, so you have to twist it to unlock it basically and normally you would just have to destroy the packaging or try to take it apart very carefully then reassemble it whereas now they give you this little option where you can kind of pop the bottom open to unlock your t-rex and then pull it out while keeping the packaging intact massive kudos to mattel for coming up with that idea love that 
And then here is our Red Rex in all its glory. And without even looking at it any further, I can tell you already, this is my new favorite Mattel Tyrannosaurus, even more so than the Hammond Collection version. I absolutely love this thing. And when I had initially seen the images of it, I was like pretty excited about it, but there were some things that I was a little iffy on, like this little area right here leading off of the back of the head. But honestly, in person, there is absolutely nothing about this Rex that is distracting to me and even that area does not bother me at all it is just an absolute work of art really excited to get a closer look at this thing i really can't wait anymore so let's jump to that closer look right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of our red rex you can see it has some really nice looking detail definitely has some gorgeous looking sculpt as far as the scale detail goes we also have of course that kind of classic red coloration that red rex color and then we have some darker variations of like a brown that kind of striped down and design here through the snout down into the palette in the eye socket area again really nice looking coloration you can see that the eye is painted with a yellow given a nice black pupil we do have an articulation jaw of course and both the upper and lower jaw articulate which I believe is the reason for this extended area right here on the head so you can articulate both areas of the head the inside of the mouth here you can see again has a really nice pinkish tone nice texture for the tongue right there got some nice looking detail there on the upper side of the inside of the mouth as well and you can clearly see the throat is opened up in here because the figure actually swallows smaller dinosaur figures so at the same time that it is an ode to the Kenner Red Rex, it's also kind of an ode to the Kenner Lost World Jurassic Park Bull T-Rex because that was the action feature for that figure originally, you know, before Mattel started doing that with their Colossals and stuff like that. You could actually do that with the uh, Bull Rex from Kenner. And one thing that you can see is also kind of a throwback to that is the fact that we have a slit here in the stomach where you would remove the, you know, dinosaurs, whatever you swallow, in fact, human beings and stuff, which with the Kenner one, it was a human that came with him. But uh, in the case of this figure, whatever you decide to swallow, you pull it out of the stomach. And that as well, again, is a throwback to the Bull Rex from the Lost World Jurassic Park line. As you look up here at the top of the head, again, the skin texture looks phenomenal up here. All of this designing is really nicely applied with an airbrush. So that's a huge plus because it looks super smooth and natural. As you lead down the side of the neck, you can see kind of like some creasing, some more really nice looking skin texture. We almost have like a osteoderms or something kind of leading down the side here like scoots down the side of the rex of the neck there as you lead down here to the underside of the throat you can see some more wrinkling and stuff and uh, you can see that we have just like with the old kenner red rex you have this kind of variation of like a greenish tone here on the underside of the neck it doesn't run up here into the underside of the jaw it starts right here in the mid throat area and then that leads down here along the underside and it's pretty bright. My camera doesn't seem to like that coloration very much. But as you move along the top of the Rex, you can make out the spinal column. You can also make out more really nice looking skin texture, skin detail as you move along. And all sorts of that coloration as we lead out. And one huge plus to this figure is the fact that we do have quite a bit of paintwork on it. They really did go all out, I would say, as far as this one goes when it comes to giving us a good bit of color because these brownish tones start here in the face. You can see they run all the way out here. They also design down here into the side of the Rex. And then they also lead down the course of the leg. You can see some kind of designing down here. And they lead out onto the tail. So an even bigger plus paintwork all the way out. Most often with Mattel, you have the paint that kind of cuts off here in like the hip region. Sometimes you'll get some paint out on the tail. But uh, not often when it comes to a T-Rex. However, this time... We definitely have that coloration leading out. It does end here before running out the rest of the way with no color, but it still looks beautiful having color all the way out to that point. But as you lead down here through the course of the thigh, you can also see some nice muscle definition against some more of that brownish tone designing down here. And then as we lead down a little bit further, we have all the stuff that you would, you know, usually see on a Mattel Rex. You've got the knee showing nicely, the huge calf muscle down into that really nice looking foot sculpt with the scoots down the toes. And then we've got some nicely painted nails here for the feet. No Ducaw painted. It is there, but there's just no paintwork on it. But as you lead back up here into the tail, we again lead out and... We we have that really nice looking sculpt in detail. You can see that greenish tone starts to disappear as we lead to about here and then it's gone. We don't have any more of that leading out the length of the tail. You have a slight curve there in the tail as you lead out toward the tip. And uh, again, primarily we only have that reddish coloration out here past this point of that last stripe, but it looks really cool. And you can see again, we have that real feel for it. So it's nice and soft and that feel runs through 
pretty much the entire figure besides the legs. Like you can see, we can squish the stomach and everything, which is absolutely epic. And again, the arms, even though they're harder than what you feel here, they're still quite flexible, quite bendable, which is interesting. And then you can lead up into the neck. You also have that real feel up here, nice and soft and squishy. And uh, you can also move the neck and everything like that. Again, absolutely a perfect throwback to the Kenner Red Rex. Absolutely love the real feel aspect of this. And then you, of course, have the Jurassic Facts app code here on the side of the leg, if my camera would focus on it. There, it's kind of focusing on it right there. And it's pretty well hidden. I do like that aspect. And like my good friend Marco Makes had recently mentioned, this uh, area here, the way that they've applied the fax code is kind of good if you want to create like custom you know, figures and stuff. When his review, he mentioned how you could pull this open and, you know, create like custom injuries and stuff. And that's absolutely true. It's a really nice idea on the part of Marco, who's always thinking outside the box. But the sculpt in detail looks nice here on the underside. The paintwork's also applied pretty nicely. You have the area there for the battery, the battery compartment. And then again, the area to remove whatever you decide to swallow. And uh, as you move up, you can see the coloration again disappears as we reach the throat. And then you can get a look here at the opposing side of the head. Really nice paintwork yet again for the eye over here. The nostrils are sculpted out right there, which I don't think I mentioned before. The teeth are also painted with kind of like an off-white. That looks really, really nice. And then as you lead back again, just nostalgia galore as I look through this figure. It is phenomenal looking. It really, really is one of my favorite Mattel figures that has ever been produced. One thing, though, that I'm actually going to point out that Marco noticed, and I probably would have overlooked it completely, although actually looking at them here, it is super obvious. And it is really quite strange. I don't know what happened here. But you can see the scoots moving down the toes on the right foot. There are a million scoots moving down the toes here on the right foot. There are just tons of them. But then when you come over here, there are so many less. Like so much less as far as the amount of scoots moving down the toes. It might not look that dramatic when you look at it right there. But if you look here and then quickly go over, there is a massive difference in the amount of scoots running down the toes. I don't know why that happened. That's going to probably be a mystery forever, but it's kind of an interesting blunder on the part of Mattel. I don't think that takes away from the figure, though, because I am definitely 100% in love with this Red Rex from Mattel. And again, as far as the articulation goes, you have the lower jaw and the upper jaw to get a nice wide gaping open mouth. You've also got arm articulation forward and back, but you also have the ability to move the arms out away from the body, which isn't something you often see on the Mattel T-Rex. You also have the articulation here in the leg. You can go forward and back. Also, of course, further forward. And then you also have, eh, does it go out away from the body? Oh yeah, it absolutely does. Actually pretty far. You can see you can move those quite far out. And then you also have the articulation in the ankle. Right there, nice swivel. And then you don't really have any articulation in the tail, but you can move it because it is a real feel tail. And then on top of all of that fun, we also have sound effects. So we push basically here on the top of the Rex, which I believe is exactly how you activated the sounds on the Kenner Bull Rex, which again is a throwback, but... That was a weird one. So there are definitely some really nice Jurassic T-Rex roars in there, and then one random roar that I've never heard before. But uh, some very cool noises that come from your T-Rex. And you have quite a few, and uh, I don't know if they are Jurassic Park or Jurassic World T-Rex noises. I believe Marco in his review had mentioned that a lot of them were Jurassic World roars. I'm not that good at deciphering what roar is from what movie. Marco's clearly way better at that than I am because they just sound like Jurassic T-Rex roars and they all sound really cool to me. But uh, Marco obviously is very good at when it comes to paying attention to the fine details. So I can see why he would know that. But as far as a size goes for a length on our Rex, you are looking at about 21 and three quarter inches or right around 55 and a half centimeters. And the highest point is definitely the back of the neck. You are looking at just shy, like almost there at eight inches or a little bit over 20 centimeters for a size comparison. 
There is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Mattel Red Rex. And you can definitely see it sports a pretty darn impressive size as most Mattel Tyrannosaurs usually do. And then here is a size comparison next to the Extreme Damage T-Rex. You can see they are fairly similar in size overall, but the Red Rex is definitely a little bit larger, though they do seem to have very similar kind of detail and of course the positioning of the legs is quite similar as well but uh the extreme damage rex is a little bit smaller than the red rex and here's the comparison that i definitely want to see as we have the red rex next to the mattel red rex of course the canner and the mattel versions next to each other and it's a little hard to really tell right now but the kenner red rex is definitely larger than our mattel version mine is really beat up this is one of four different red rexes that i have but uh this is the one actually from my childhood so it definitely was beat up a little bit in its time but if you actually kind of turn the two so they are kind of facing off here we're going to start the red rex the kenner version here at the tip of the tail of the mattel version and as we lead over here you can see how much longer the tail of the Kenner version is so the Kenner Red Rex is definitely larger than the Mattel version but it's still super cool to see the two of them here next to each other definitely a, a very iconic T-Rex figure when it comes to the Kenner Red Rex next to this really nice new crisp looking version from Mattel and for another view here of it where it really probably makes more sense to show you you can see the smaller version the Mattel version here in front of the Kenner version definitely a pretty good difference in size between these two but uh, also slightly different tones of color but again mine like I said has been through war as I played with it so much as a kid you can see it's definitely severely faded compared to the nice new shiny version here from Mattel. And then for one more comparison, we have a Mattel Velociraptor and Mattel Dilophosaurus here next to the Red Rex to again show off the size. If you are familiar with the Extreme Chomp and T-Rex, it's a little bit bigger than an Extreme Chomp and it's like probably somewhere in between the Extreme Chomp and uh and thrash and throw somewhere in the middle between those two as far as the size goes but if you happen to have any raptors or dilophosaurus this should help to give you again one more idea of a size it may actually be closer to the size of a thrash and throw but i don't have my thrash and throw out right now it's like super buried but as far as the you know action feature outside of the noises and stuff goes you can of course swallow things and we're just going to throw poor Robert Muldoon down there and hopefully we'll be able to retrieve him from the stomach of the Rex because I think it's actually made to swallow mini dinos but I'm just interested to see if we can actually swallow Muldoon and retrieve him from the stomach of the Rex correctly it's almost going to look like Jim Carrey coming out of the Rhino in Ace Ventura but there we go we are retrieving our Robert Muldoon straight out of the stomach of our red rex so it definitely works really nicely and muldoon has now returned and is unharmed so this brand new mattel jurassic park 93 classic electronic real feel tyrannosaurus rex is fantastic in fact looking at it here i thought there were going to be some things that i really could complain about like with that weird shape to the back of the head there and everything but in hand like i really have nothing to complain about it is absolutely awesome and it really is a perfect throwback to the Jurassic Park line the Kenner Jurassic Park line which I hold so dearly near and dear to my heart so of course it immediately is something that I'm going to love when it comes to this and I think the sculpt is fantastic it always is when it comes to a Mattel Tyrannosaurus they always do a great job on their sculpts same thing here really nice really crisp detail super impressive sculpt through the entire thing the paint job as well looks great the Red Rex tones look awesome on this figure definitely the best possible throwback to the Kenner line that Mattel could have created and I think they did a fantastic job of kind of replicating the colors to look like the Red Rex but with a little bit of Mattel feel in there as well on top of that we have the real feel aspect which is amazing I absolutely love that and I really hope we get more figures like that with the real feel you know I would love to see more figures like a Triceratops or a Stegosaur stuff like that produced with that kind of real feel or even a young Rex it would be super cool but the real feel feels awesome on this nice and flexible you have the ability to move it just like you did with the old 
Kenner version. On top of that, you've also got some nice articulation. You also have some sound effects, which are incredibly cool. And we have the ability to eat dinosaurs and then bring them back out of the stomach, just like the old Lost World Bull T-Rex. So as a whole, this is a phenomenal release from Mattel. Definitely one that I am beyond excited to now have in my hands after waiting for quite a little while. I actually had uh, a tip that this was coming for quite a long time prior to it being unveiled. So I've been waiting for this for an extended period of time and I couldn't be happier to finally have it now here in my hands and uh, of course to show it off to you guys. So if you are interested in this, you can still pre-order this on Target's website or I believe you can actually purchase it from Toyopolis in the United Kingdom as well if you want to pay a little bit extra as far as shipping. I believe they just recently got a shipment in so you could potentially order it from there or of course pre-order it from Target. I will include links in the description to both of those places so you can grab one of these for yourself. And again, one huge thank you to Marco and Sora for being incredible and helping me to get this a little bit early rather than waiting for Target to ship whenever they get to it. So make sure you guys grab yourselves a Red Rex and also like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.